In a public setting, there are moments when one comes across a heated argument among people, leaving us uncertain about whether to intervene and help resolve the conflict or simply mind our own business and walk away. This is the story of an incident that occurred on a plane, where a woman found herself in tears due to an elderly man's actions. However, an unexpected interruption soon turned this situation into something unbelievable. The woman at the center of this story is Savannah Phillips, a confident individual who, by her own definition, identified as plus-sized. While she was not extremely large, she was aware that she did not fit the mold of a petite person. Savannah had spent a significant portion of her life grappling with the challenges posed by her weight. She had often been the subject of stares and ridicule, which had taken a toll on her self-esteem. Unfortunately, body shaming was a prevalent issue and Savannah had experienced it firsthand. Savannah's job required frequent travel, which she found daunting. However, as a determined businesswoman working towards success, she understood the necessity of these trips. She always made a point to arrive at the airport early because she knew that her size might inconvenience some people. To ensure she had a comfortable flight, she typically booked a seat without any neighboring passengers. But on this particular day, she was running late and had no choice but to accept the seat assigned to her. Rushing to catch her flight, Savannah feared she would not be able to secure a preferred seat. When she arrived at the counter, she received the disappointing news that all the seats were occupied. Despite speaking with the check-in assistant, she was unable to secure the seat she desired. With no other options, Savannah reluctantly accepted her assigned seat. As she boarded the plane, she felt nervous about sitting next to someone after so long. She wondered about her seatmate's personality and how they would react to her presence. Little did she know that this flight would prove to be uncomfortable, but an unexpected turn of events awaited her. Savannah's heart raced as she stepped onto the plane, acutely aware that it had been a while since she had sat next to someone. She glanced at her designated seat and saw her fellow passenger, an elderly man sporting bright yellow sunglasses. Given her size, Savannah was sensitive to the discomfort she might cause others while traveling. As she approached her seat, anxiety welled up within her, knowing that she would have to squeeze past the elderly man to reach her window seat. However, the elderly man's response was unexpected. In a public setting, there are moments when one encounters a heated argument among people, leaving one uncertain about whether to intervene and help resolve the conflict or simply mind one's own business and walk away. This is the story of an incident that occurred on a plane, where a woman found herself in tears due to an elderly man's actions. However, an unexpected interruption soon turned the situation into something unbelievable. The woman at the center of this story is Savannah Phillips, a confident individual who, by her own definition, identified as plus-sized. While she was not extremely large, she was aware that she did not fit the mold of a petite person. Savannah had spent a significant portion of her life grappling with the challenges posed by her weight. She had often been the subject of stares and ridicule, which had taken a toll on her self-esteem. Unfortunately, body shaming was a prevalent issue, and Savannah had experienced it firsthand. Savannah's job required frequent travel, which she found daunting. However, as a determined businesswoman working towards success, she understood the necessity of these trips. She always made a point to arrive at the airport early because she knew that her size might inconvenience some people. To ensure she had a comfortable flight, she typically booked a seat without any neighboring passengers. But on this particular day, she was running late and had no choice but to accept the seat assigned to her. Rushing to catch her flight, Savannah feared she would not be able to secure a preferred seat. When she arrived at the counter, she received the disappointing news that all the seats were occupied. Despite speaking with the check-in assistant, she was unable to secure the seat she desired. With no other options, Savannah reluctantly accepted her assigned seat. As she boarded the plane, she felt nervous about sitting next to someone after so long. She wondered about her seatmate's personality and how they would react to her presence. Little did she know that this flight would prove to be uncomfortable, but an unexpected turn of events awaited her. 
Savannah's heart raced as she stepped onto the plane, acutely aware that it had been a while since she had sat next to someone. She glanced at her designated seat and saw her fellow passenger, an elderly man sporting bright yellow sunglasses. Given her size, Savannah was sensitive to the discomfort she might cause others while traveling. As she approached her seat, anxiety welled up within her, knowing that she would have to squeeze past the elderly man to reach her window seat. However, the elderly man's response was unexpected. And when Savannah finally reached her aisle, the elderly man did something unusual. He stood up from his seat, leaving Savannah confused. She had expected him to simply move slightly to allow her to pass. But her assumptions were incorrect. As she politely tried to pass by him to get to her seat, the old man continued to stand, making the situation increasingly uncomfortable. Little did she know that this elderly man held a strong bias against overweight people and harbored disdain towards them. Savannah noticed him taking out his phone, and someone else behind them also observed his actions. Savannah, cautious and mindful of the situation, closely watched the old man as he held his phone in his hand. Although his actions did not initially alarm her, she soon noticed him making some adjustments on his phone screen such as increasing the brightness and enlarging the text font. She had assumed it was due to his poor vision. However, what she eventually discovered left her deeply hurt. Once they were seated together, the old man had mentioned that he was a comedian, exchanging pleasantries with Savannah. However, he soon became engrossed in texting someone on his phone. It was then that Savannah realized the reason behind his screen adjustments. He wanted her to read the oversized text messages he was sending, which contained a hurtful and derogatory message that read, sitting next to Smelly Fatty. Overwhelmed by emotions, Savannah began to cry, facing the window as tears streamed down her cheeks. At that moment, someone tapped the old man's shoulder. A stranger seated behind them tapped the old man's shoulder, initially receiving no response. After persistently tapping his shoulder, the old man finally turned around. The stranger informed him, I need to speak to you. Now. Confused but compliant, the old man followed the stranger who had called him. The two engaged in a brief argument, and within minutes, Chase Irwin informed the old man that he would need to switch seats. Despite his initial shock, the old man cooperated, moving to another seat. As Chase returned to his seat, he noticed that Savannah was still in tears, prompting him to take a heroic action. Following this incident, the old man was relocated to a different seat, and Savannah and Chase sat together on the plane. They struck up a conversation during the flight, with Chase proving to be a kind and easy to talk to individual. Savannah was extremely grateful for his intervention and learned some details about him, including his name, profession, and the fact that he had a child like herself. The two had a pleasant flight together, and upon landing, Savannah couldn't contain her happiness. Although she was unable to locate Chase on social media, she wrote a heartfelt Facebook post about their experience, urging her friends to share it until they found Chase. After a while, she received a response from Chase himself. After his reply, there was no doubt that he was the person who had come to her rescue on that fateful day on the plane. Chase Irwin was unmistakably the hero of the story, and his identification led to immediate attention. In a local news interview, Chase expressed his strong aversion to discrimination and recounted his encounter with Savannah. He explained how he had intervened upon seeing the old man's hurtful text messages and confronted him about his heartless behavior. Chase's kindness and determination not to tolerate bullying left a lasting impact ultimately resulting in a positive outcome. Through their connection on Facebook and the attention generated by Savannah's post, Savannah and Chase were able to raise awareness about the issue of body shaming on social media. Despite the nightmare of dealing with the old man, their experience ultimately led to a positive message, highlighting the importance of ending body shaming. While it may seem like an impossible feat, there are genuinely good-hearted individuals, much like the hero of this story who can turn such possibilities into reality. People with a positive outlook, like Chase Irwin, have the power to make the world a better place, especially for victims of bullying like Savannah.
Chase's small act of kindness left an indelible mark on Savannah's heart, solidifying his status as a hero. Have you ever experienced the power of teamwork in the face of a public gunman's attack? Spencer Stone, Alex Scarlettos, and Anthony Sadler, three Americans visiting France, found themselves in a terrifying situation when they heard gunshots. With Scarlettos urging, get him, Stone bravely tackled the gunman, aided by his two friends and other passengers. Their collective courage not only saved their lives but also rescued several other passengers from harm. Jumping onto a railway track is an incredibly dangerous act, but when Charles Collins did it, he ended up saving a life. Alfred Mank and me, too close to the edge of the platform in a downtown Philadelphia subway station, fell off and suffered a broken back. Without hesitation, Collins jumped down to save the stranger, humbly stating, I just saw him down and jumped down. Just instincts. I'm not a hero. I mean, people do the same thing. Cheryl Treadway and her three children were held hostage by her boyfriend, Ethan Nickerson. She ingeniously persuaded him to let her order a pizza and included the message, please help, get 911 to me, in the delivery instructions. The pizza place promptly called 911, taking her plea seriously. Hostage negotiator Lt. Curtis Ludden successfully convinced Nickerson, 26, to release Cheryl and her children, ensuring their safety. Song Teen, 28, was miraculously saved by a group of strangers after being run over by a truck. These compassionate individuals joined forces, pooling their strength to rescue him following a horrific accident. Shang Tin was on his way back home when tragedy struck, resulting in a collision with a truck that left him severely injured. He was rushed to the hospital, where a hospital worker stated, he was very lucky he wasn't crushed to death. He had a broken leg and ribs and was bleeding quite badly from a head wound. Simba, a seven-year-old French bulldog, encountered an Air Canada pilot who ended up saving his life. Simba had been placed in the cargo hold on a flight from Tel Aviv to Toronto, but an issue with the heating system left the interior excessively hot. Upon learning of the situation, the pilot made the decision to divert the flight to Frankfurt Airport to ensure Simba's well-being. The dog's owner, German Kontorovich, expressed profound gratitude, saying, It's my dog. It's like my child.